Hello and welcome to Pedantic Hand Wavium, the podcast that tries to explain fictional worlds using science. My name is Simon. And I'm Jeff. Jeff. Yes? I don't have a great opening for this. We're talking about Mario today. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's weird, right? Because I feel like Mario is a totally realistic person. Oh, yeah. Like, the whole world's pretty robust, right? Well, well not just that. So... I feel like he's rob- he's a human. He's an an actual thing that exists in the world. He's an Italian plumber who can traverse pipes. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like the world he's in is completely fantastical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that works. Right? Yeah. Let's start off first. First problem. Let's just dive right in. Yeah, because I have no transitions for this. Surprisingly. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe we'll find a segue that works somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Or we'll, like, really closely miss all of our segues, which is what normally happens. <laughs> yeah. So, Goombas, Toads, and Koopas. For anyone who doesn't know, Goombas, imagine a muffin with a face on it and feet. hmm Yep. And that's a Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, toads um, are people who have mushroom heads and, and we're hats. I think we shouldn't do hats because that's stupid and I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm saying it's their brain. They got mushroom okay. brain. Mushroom brains. And then Koopas are bipedal turtles. Turtles, yeah. So yeah, where did we want to start with like do we wanna tackle one of them or um, yeah, let's go one at a time. I, I think that, that's a good idea. Okay. So, what kind of evolution, or if they're even natural, create Goombas? Um, well, this can kind of tie in with, um, the toads as well, where it was fungus is the dominant sort of species. Huh. Well, not species, but families. <laughs> Now, however far back you want to get down the uh, the phylogeny, they were the most fit and developed sentience. Oh, there's other things with it, but... So you're saying uh, Goombas yeah. are mushrooms? Yes. But they're... Absolutely. Ba- oh, I know it. That makes total sense. However, why would they not mm-hmm. evolve appendage? Do you think that, like, all the food in the Mushroom Kingdom... Is mouth height to Goombas. <laughs> is mouth height to Goombas? <laughs> It's oh, it's like a bad version of spore. It's like <laughs> <laughs> like can I create a creature that just the mouth, eyes, legs, and that's it? <laughs> sure can. Here you go. Oh, thank you, Todd Howard, for giving us that that beautiful creation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I like that, and that fits in with Toad. Mm-hmm. So. But Koopas. Koopas are clearly not fungi. I don't know any fungi that have right. shells. So, uh, so probably not, no. I, I'm going to go yeah. off book here. I'm going to okay. say the reason turtles in this world are mm-hmm. different from turtles in our world is because Koopas are actually genetic experiments created by Bowser to like create a sentient army of armored creatures. But I guess he's a Koopa, so mm-hmm. that can't be true. Or he could just fancy himself a god and try to create the rest of the Koopas in his image. It's true. And and so maybe they're not maybe they're dinosaurs. I like that actually. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, I can get behind that. And he's just like, this is a world where dinosaurs didn't die off. And so they are the they are st- still around they were able to reach a level of intelligence equal to mushrooms yep (laughs) intelligence of mushrooms but mushrooms in this world where mushrooms Mm -hmm. are the predominant family Mm -hmm. aside from humans actually there are more humans aren't there there's a bunch of humans there's not that many humans there's really only like three four in the main story there's there's mario luigi Peach, and I believe Daisy is in the main story. Daisy, Paulette. Oh, yeah. I mean, we could go Plum. We could go... Yeah. Kind of off book. I mean, those are all other princesses 
I don't know. But there are, there's not that many humans. Slash there's, mayors. Yeah, slash mayors. <laughs> there's, I think there's less human. I think that this is a world yeah. where each, each family was able to develop at the same time. Kind of at the same mm-hmm. rate. So, okay. yeah. yeah, that's why you have, like, intelligent fungi, intelligent animals. But you also have, like, the plant creatures. Like, piranha plant and the little guys mm-hmm. in Paper Mario that I don't remember the names of. The little guys in Paper Mario. They're, like... Um, they're, like... I'm trying to think of which ones they might be. There's, like... There's two I'm thinking of. But one of them is, like, sentient, um... Palm trees? Duffinos. Yes. Yes, like Delfinos. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Thank you. <laughs> that actually works really well. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm always surprised whenever we do anything well. <laughs> we accidentally did something good. I feel like you do stuff better in this podcast than I do. Well, you throw ideas at the wall, and then I just like take off the bits that stick and say they were mine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works. So let's let's go to Cappy, okay, which is yes, the Cappy, the sentient hat from a race of other sentient hats. Yes, oh, well, are they maybe. ghosts that possess hats? I, he, so I don't think he's a, from a race of hat. Are there other Cappy? Yeah, they're also floating around in like the first world of whatever the last game was. Was it just oh world, my God, Super Mario world? What? what um. Uh, what if we do like a multiverse thing with it where we're like cappies there's only one cappy per multiverse and and the oh wait so these are not other players cappies these are actual lady cappy npc cappies yeah okay (laughs) that i think genes and natural selection are out of it there's no way oh okay i thought you meant like jeans like like the denim article of clothing cannot be sentient like hats <laughs> <laughs> so what we can say cappy's not made of denim that makes no sense <laughs> yeah cappy is like not an article of clothing he just takes that form Oh, but then why would all other cappies take that form? Oh, because hats are pretty cool. I think if we want to go organic route, these mm-hmm. are symbiotic creatures that evolved along with humans to protect their mm-hmm. heads and faces from sunlight. <laughs> but they are plants. Or maybe they're parasites. Oh, they're plants. Like, um, did you ever read The Animorph? I have not, no. So, the main baddie in The Animorphs mm-hmm. is a worm that takes control of your brain and it's terrifying yeah oh it's it super is because like the people are awake while they're being controlled oh. yeah no oh, that's really dark it's it it, it gets so dark <laughs> like unbelievably dark but i forgot but where so i was going yeah, oh yeah that's right kathy <laughs> uh so convince humans to put them on their head yeah yeah oh well, that's what i'm saying like i think they're parasites that control mm-hmm. creatures, things. Oh yeah, and that's what gives Cappy his but how ability. Does it pull in Mario. I think. I think maybe with human, they're symbiotic. Well, let's assume. Okay. Let's assume mm-hmm. Bowser's henchmen are our mm-hmm. fun guy. So they have one type of nervous system. Humans okay. are animals and have a different kind of nervous. So. They need the humans to bring them to the things that they can control. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So I guess... Yeah, I can see that. And I guess what they give the humans is, like, crazy awesome powers. Oh, but you can also possess people in the the game. What? Well, I I need to play Mario Odyssey. This sounds like a Buckwild game. (laughs) Like, (laughs) absolutely insane. (laughs) So maybe... Uh, so yeah, that doesn't quite work, now that I think about it. M- maybe they just... Maybe they can control everyone, but Cappy is just really nice and doesn't control Mario. Or he realizes that if he doesn't control Mario, he will... Like, Mario will bring him to more people to control. Maybe. That's true, too. He could be a narc. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever that would kind of be. I don't know. I was also yeah, thinking... Yeah. What? Yeah, continue. I was going to say... Maybe you're Cappy. Cappy is the player. 
And that's why Mario does what you tell him to do. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I like that, actually. Because that, that ties yeah, in. I'm into that. Yeah, the fact the, that it's like a video Odyssey. game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm talking over you. I don't mean to. It's just my voice is so loud in my ear. <laughs> and I can't turn it down. <laughs> there we go. That's, I mean, you can. I did. You just gotta adjust it's, your levels. It, it took... It, I had to put it pretty low. <laughs> Because you're always shouting it, all the time. Also, my mic Never is... Never not shouting. <laughs> this is why we keep getting yelled at at work. I keep my voice down at work when I try... I try to. Mm-hmm. So, let's let's stay in this vein. Okay. What about Tanuki? This... Tanuki Mario. Tanuki. Like... Like, if that's the oh, squirrel. so like all the power-ups yeah. for Mario? Yeah. I believe Tanuki is um, a Japanese... Yes. It's uh, What is that? Like raccoon dog yeah. thing? It's strange. Yeah, with giant testicles. Sure. <laughs> is that is that like a different species of cappy but one that's like full body i want to say it's not i want to say that's like an exoskeleton okay like that's just an item that he puts on okay yeah no that makes sense that just has mm-hmm. gives them the ability of flight maybe it's got like yeah. um hoverboard technology you know where they they do like the the fans that that spins so you can like levitate oh yeah yeah not like hoverboard technology like back to the future like back to the future yeah or hoverboard technology like the little things you stand on that have two wheels <laughs> that are like bad <laughs> that segues do not hover at all yeah 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 i i think i like the I, idea that the tanuki suit oh yeah because it's a suit yeah it's a suit so it's just like an exoskeleton yeah. that he puts on and yeah. is maybe simplified in the games, so they don't have to animate the entire suit. Yeah, the the spinning wheels, the spinning fans. Because you got to remember, <laughs> Tanuki Mario is from like back in the SNES days. Like, it's yeah. been there for mm-hmm. a while. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then there's the rest of the power. Then there's else. the rest of the power. Oh, well, I was gonna say, I, I I like all of them being like the cat suit. Drugs. Yeah, no, but we do have drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be weird. This is a weird world. <laughs> um, it, it trying to make things work in real life really demonstrates how weird, fantastical worlds yeah, are. Like, there's a lot of things that you just accept. Yeah, like right, like this. This mm-hmm, so much mm-hmm. of this makes no. I want to say all of the personas are mm-hmm. exosuit. Okay. Because apart from Tanuki, they don't give you like crazy powers if i remember correctly mm-hmm. and then we can do like spontaneous generation of fireball that's kind of strange yeah that one would have to be unpacked a bit. maybe um i feel like if you were to like soak soft rubber in mm-hmm. gasoline in a way that so he's just throwing napalm pretty at things pretty much that's what i'm thinking like bou- bouncy <laughs> napalm um, yeah that makes sense. Like, even if it's just, like, if you were to add, like, some kind of gel to a petroleum, somehow mm-hmm. infused burning thing. I'm trying to think of more burning, like, things that burn, and it's, I'm like, phosphorus, and I'm like, yeah, a little bit too <laughs> not burn. Too much burning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, so maybe it's, like, magnesium, actually. You could do that. I and mean, that burns pretty hot. Or thermite. Well, I mean, it could just be, like, napalm, though. Yeah. Because yeah, he yeah. throws it. Yeah. So yeah, he just has fistfuls of napalm. I think he just has fistfuls of napalm. I agree. I, so so how do the fire flowers work? Because that's what gives him that ability. Okay. Do you think um, do you think so how about this? Uh, do you think a lot of those power ups are just drug and the fire flower is really just like PCP? And so he he gains the ability to be hit one more time because he's you know, he's on PCP. <laughs> <laughs> and and maybe he's very fascinated with like bright glowing objects so Mm -hmm. he also just always he always has the ability to cast fireballs it's only when he's on pcp though when he's just like (laughs) throwing them out like really crazy like i like that yeah yeah Okay, and then we could uh-huh. do, like, mushrooms, a lighter version. Mushrooms. Uh, yeah, they're mushrooms. Well, they're not mushrooms, because mushrooms don't make you... I don't see how that relates to... Think that you're giant? Yeah. Oh, so you think you think the whole giant... He, like, Mario's not growing in <laughs> he, size. Oh, he yeah, just no, thinks... he doesn't grow. <laughs> he just thinks he does. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he, just, he just thinks he's really, really big. That's all it is. <laughs> I, I I'm fine with that. I think that's great. So yeah, we just mushrooms are mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> he's really, I mean, I mean, it works. I mean, he's almost like a, at this point in time, he's no longer an Italian plumber. He's a legitimate Viking. And he's taking <laughs> shrooms before he goes into battle. Right. <laughs> I mean, that makes, I, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like it. I think that's that's a solid explanation. I agree. I agree. I think it makes more sense than the exosuit or anything else. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And and it's just spe- yeah yeah. And for some reason, or yeah yeah, it could just be all of them. Like yeah, he's not actually flying. He just thinks he is. I want to try and steer away from the idea that the games are just like his drug addled. <laughs> like, like, because then everything can be explained with that being like, oh, he's just on yeah, drugs. Well, I mean, there's a lot. Of, uh, we really just have to redefine what we accept. Just as a matter of fact, we do for all of it. But he's really on drugs all of the time, and the Koopas are really sentient turtles that walk around on two legs. I. I, I don't like that. It's That's not as internally consistent as I think we've been in the past. Yeah, I'll give you that. I, think, I agree. I think we have to go steer away from, like, it's just a simulation, or yeah, he's on PCP. That's too easy. Or, that's not fun. Yeah. So I, I like the idea that he just thinks he's bigger. He thinks he's really cool. Because that fits into, like, the whole PCP aspect, too, because... You, you, you can't mm. take more damage on PCP. You're still a human, but you feel like you can't. So you just charge mm-hmm. forward. And really, he's just like, it's it's not, he doesn't get killed by Goombas. He just reaches a point where, like, the pain is so intense he has to stop. Mm-hmm. I really like this idea because the extension of this idea is when he gets the, like, star for invincibility. Yeah. He's just, like, windmilling <laughs> his arms at enemies. <laughs> It's right because he has to kill everything he hits. So he's yeah, just, yeah. He's just this drugged up psycho swinging like that, his arms. That is around. the logical conclusion. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> I like in the world because in this world, drugs are like really potent. So mm-hmm. just the plant base, just straight plants. That's like mm-hmm. the weakest effect that drug has. That's like the weaker doses. So the star right. is in the shape of a star because it's like a designer chemical. So it's like refined. <laughs> that's why it's so good. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, that's good. Oh my that god. Works. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny because like this this doesn't really work with it. But like afterward, he's just his arms are just shattered. <laughs> Shattered masses. <laughs> just totally useless. Maybe that's why he doesn't uh, use his arms that much. Because they're mostly broken. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love that. Mm-hmm. That works. It totally works. That, that has the internal consistency we look for. Oh, so now that we are doing that, or we're like, this this gives everyone's on drugs. Right. The, the plot to Dr. Mario... His uh-huh. is that everyone has the flu and that they need okay. to be cured with super vitamin. Right. So, are we saying that super vitamins is like Dayquil, but in a world where cocaine isn't illegal in a country or a, I would say world? Yeah, probably like its own world. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Because because that explains that. Like, if you're mm-hmm. on a large amount of or like methamphetamines, I, I don't think you you still have the flu, but you don't care that you have the flu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Here's one thing that isn't explained by that. Maybe it is, okay. but I don't think it should. If you jump three times in the correct rhythm in Mario, mm-hmm. you jump higher than usual oh i mean do you like not watch the olympics that's what they do all the time they do like a little bit of a hop and then they are you you referring to am i being facetious yes okay good because i thought you were (laughs) i thought you were doing the the pommel horse and i was like yeah they they jump before that but they also are jumping onto a giant spring (laughs) well well what if we do this what if we do this mario Mm -hmm. always has a extra suit on okay you know how power armor has like the like the under under skeleton for oh it? yeah yeah mm-hmm. like the bones of the armor yeah what if he always mm-hmm. has that on underneath his his plumber overalls because you know 
plumbers need to have exosuits. <laughs> yeah, for all those pipes that they're traversing. Yeah, that are real difficult. And the reason he has to jump several times is because the... He has to build up the potential energy from the landing. That's that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, like the yeah. exosuits, they don't... They're not supposed to give you superhuman abilities but what he's doing is it's it's trying to keep him from shattering his legs as he lands on a jump (laughs) and so he's Uh using that little bit of like extra push off that resistance that it's giving him to like i like that jump higher just yeah he's gaming the uh the mechanics of the exosuit yeah that's what i'm thinking okay yeah i like it we're just jeff we are so good at this (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> now we just gotta get paid now we just gotta get yeah by the way nintendo looking at you for sponsorship you want to sponsor a podcast <laughs> we can talk about nintendo stuff all day yep oh man we got we got legend of zelda we still haven't done uh splatoon mm-hmm. we no one knows how that works uh, <laughs> um, other nintendo products that are popular i i honestly can't think yeah, of any like really <laughs> reaching for them are uh, that aren't in the Mario world, uh, Kirby. Yeah, People like Kirby. A- any Smash character. Yeah, really anything. Yeah, uh, all of, Metroid. All of the Nintendo verse. Sonic is now in that. We haven't done Sonic. Mm-hmm. Look at that. We should probably do Sonic. Maybe maybe we'll save that for the live action. Movie. That's what I was thinking because I forgot <laughs> that that was coming out. <laughs> Whether or not we want it to. I I don't think it's going to be bad. I think it's just going to be boring. I mean probably i am glad someone's trying to make a video game movie because no one has successfully done it true yes <laughs> like i cannot think of one that's good the live action mario one is pretty horrendous it's pretty bad yeah well yeah. no nah, that's fine there's something wrong with you jeff <laughs> probably <laughs> likely <laughs> so next one is the the tubes Teleporting through two. Mm-hmm. That can't be explained by drugs or exoskeletons or fungi. I mean, is it teleporting or are they just sucking tubes him through? that go to places? Uh, this is what I'm wondering. Is he running through the tubes, which seems a little crazy, because he can go mm-hmm. upward. So is he just like spider climbing up oh. tubes? Well, he. Well, because in... he docks the exosuit to it and that's that's you pressing down and then (laughs) yeah and that propels him along the tube like it just pulls him along okay okay and and we could even do that like the if the exoskeleton is kind of uh it's metal so we could do Mm -hmm. it that it's almost like a maglev machine yeah yeah so hopefully mario never gets a pacemaker oh yeah that'd be (laughs) the end of his plumbing yes yes it would be (laughs) man we are we are running out of things for me to come up with. Uh, I would. Uh, what's another thing? Well, Yoshi, and Yoshi. Yoshi. Yeah, I was thinking Birdo. Hey, also Birdo. No one mm-hmm. knows what that is. It's mis- that, that's true. Like maybe a mosquito dinosaur. But it's also <laughs> I'm not, like I don't know what the current canon is. Oh well, but I think. Initially, in the instruction book, Birdo is male. Yes, yes. Who also His preferable spits pen. eggs. Like, yes. A horrendous amount of eggs at you. Yes, this these are all, as far as I know, still true. Birdo may have okay. left the canon because it's weird and no one likes looking at it. Because it's kind of like a squid <laughs> went wrong. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't say it. Yeah. He. It, no one likes looking at he, him. Yeah. He's he's pretty rough to look at. He's pink and rubbery. Mm-hmm. Is he just just throwing this out there? Is he the invertebrate animalia version of this? Because we're thinking like animals, plants, and fungi well, have all evolved so I don't far. Think it's invertebrate because he can like, stand up Birdo straight. Definitely stands upright. Fluid filled a lot of the time. But you, you can do that with fluid filled bladders. Maybe he's just always full of gas. <laughs> you know, like. Octopi. Yeah, well, I, I, I think Birdo, actually, we can nest in with the rest of the, like, dinosaur-flavored things, like Yoshi and the Koopas. So they're probably really similar. Okay. Okay, so you're saying that it's not a distinct... It's a distinct species, but not a distinct family or genus. Yeah, something like that. It's mm-hmm. it's the dino gene. Right. Someone should create a, a taxonomy for... 
<laughs> Mario, the Mario world. Yeah, I mean, like, what kind of animals Bullet Bill? That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> bullet Bill is a chain shop. Bullet Bill is a living living bullet. For those who don't know, is Bullet Bill a living bullet? He has a face. Does he ever talk? Um, I mean, he has a face, but like. They paint a lot of faces on the front that's, of bombers. That's true. I think it. they do have arms, and they do have the choices. They do make choices in Paper Mario. Okay. So I think they are able to think. That's my mm-hmm. guess. That's something we got to explain, though. Now we got Yoshi and Bullet <laughs> Bill. I'm sorry I brought it up. We were doing so well. And now we're like, well, what if they're... Yeah, we were so close. What if they're robots? Uh, yeah, like... Because that explains chain chomps, also. Yeah, yeah. This is um, this is Bowser's idea of what what robotics mm-hmm. is is bullets and and balls with mouths. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is yeah, this, that, this is that just makes the most sense. I think so too. I think I think bullet bill chain chomps. That is all just robotics. That's that's him yeah. trying to create more soldiers. Because Goombas, mm-hmm. I mean, they're not they're not good for anything. Yeah, they're not competent no. at soldiering I, I don't think and i don't think anyone would agree that they were competent in anything they are useless uh, they yeah. run into you as hard as they can that is their attack not a great attack mm-hmm. i mean i guess bullet bills don't also have great attacks because their attacks kill them they explode when they hit you <laughs> well yeah uh, they just might not have the self-preservation because uh, they're robots yeah, it's, it's, that's true Unlike Goombas, that are nothing but self-preservation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. So we're just saying all dinosaurs mm-hmm. are just yeah, somehow just co-evolved dinosaurs. with everyone else. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why Why do dinosaurs... Why does Yoshi in particular have a really long tongue? Is he like a frog dinosaur? Because he doesn't seem be. to... I guess, I guess he does eat fruit with it. So like, I guess... I, it's like, it's like yeah. in, instead of being a giraffe, you just... Or a weird frog. Yeah, or um, any other lizard that does that. But he doesn't lick his eye. Like they, they, mm. they, they, and they eat like flies and stuff. Yoshi yeah. eats like he eats goombas well, were I mean, the, the yeah, size I of I like him. what you're going on where, like, instead of a long neck like giraffes, they have a long tongue. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it, and it might even be the case where it's like it's not just muscle. It's also like got structure to it, like a, like a bone, yeah, mm-hmm. and that allows it to kind of reach higher, and maybe it's like sticky, like a like kind of like a frog's tongue is, yeah, because yeah. it like it does definitely pull things. It, back it, in, it definitely so. pulls things yeah. back in, mm-hmm. and he can definitely eat things that are much larger than him, which I don't know if we're gonna explain. Like, how does Yoshi eat Goombas? Are Goombas larger than Yoshi? Uh, they're at least, like, as big as his body. As big as his head. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, snakes do that. Uh, but snakes are really as long. As long as you can fit them past the jaw. Yoshi's head. So, so... <laughs> the creature we have built to be actual Yoshi <laughs> is a dinosaur that it has uh-huh. a really long, bone-filled tongue that it uses right. to, to, to grab creatures that are the size of its head and then it mm-hmm. unhinges its jaw and swallows them whole yep that's a good uh summation summary. yeah okay yeah. i mean i guess that's that's the best we can do <laughs> i mean this is an awesome creature i i i'm gonna say this like, is terrifying i like yoshi more now Yes, I do too. I kind of wish that he was like realistically <laughs> rendered with like scales and stuff. Like I wish he was the the Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park, but instead of him chomping down on top of the car, he's just like sticking mm-hmm. his tongue out and it just smashes through the window, grabs the children, and he just eats them whole. <laughs> and then you're like, "Well, clearly this is a better form of evolution." <laughs> I don't know why why evolution didn't do this. Well, there you go. Uh <laughs> Listeners, feel free to send us any fan art that you make. It's true. I would uh, love to see that. That'd be great. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll forward it to Simon because I'm the one in charge of all of the internets. It's true. It's very true. So let's do one more. Yeah, we can fit one more. So here, this one's a little bit of a specific thing. Mm-hmm. Bowser, right, has that little clown face he rides in. Yeah. And even though it has a very slow 
propeller it is able to pick him off the ground and also a very small propeller yes i mean obviously if it was a propeller that was moving very, very slowly slow and very <laughs> small like if it was like a mile long bladed propeller maybe i would believe that it could pick him up right <laughs> i don't know if that actually is how propellers work it makes sense like the bigger they are the slower they have to go to get more lift uh, well they don't make lift propellers do you know how helicopters work? Oh, uh, well, I was thinking of like a prop plane, not a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> how about this? Mm-hmm. Our perspective is through a camera, right? Because we're not first person. Oh, yeah. So the shutter speed, you just don't see the whole propeller. And it's really just going banana. Like mm-hmm. crazy fast. Insanely fast. Bowser's only got to be like six feet tall. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I think that right. even that's a stretch. Because I think... Mario is, like, less than four feet tall. Actually, I think someone He's about... has done the math based on Mario Tennis. Oh, and their racket size? Yeah, and they... It's, like, 40 inches like, tall, isn't it? Projected it out, yeah. It's something like that. Bowser's maybe double a Mario. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah. So, actually, they, that puts them over, over six feet. Mm-hmm. But that propeller, so let's say it's, like, six feet long... To create lift for a helicopter, it's it's not six like I mean I mean like six foot long like total diameter like total length. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So like helicopter, I don't even know how long helicopter blades are, but they are longer than six feet. Probably. So I don't know if I've ever seen one. So that's got to be going crazy fast, like mm-hmm. crazy fast. Yeah. To lift that chub, maybe that's why he has nothing else on the. Maybe that's why it's just a bowl with a propeller on the bottom, because Bowser was like, "I want something that that flies," and his engineers were like, "That's tough. It technically flies. <laughs> yeah, it it does fly. It also has nothing else on it because you're a dinosaur. Mm-hmm. How much do we think Bowser? Yeah, and they're wears? also not great at controlling them. I don't think in the other Mario games, like they're real icy. So yeah, there's no real good controls on them. But that makes sense. They have taken yeah. a helicopter and flipped it upside down and been like, this does it. And put a dinosaur in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's totally that's totally practical for them to do. I actually like that. I was wondering how we were going to solve that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It works. And I like what you had touched on in the beginning of it just matches the shutter speed. Yeah. Of the camera we're watching through. Yeah, because clearly, if we are Cappy, we are not in first person. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's uh, Mario 64 illustrates that, that you're... Not, yeah, that's true. The viewing from... A camera. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's what Lakitu does. Oh, that's that's right. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. I'm so smart. Look at that. I got one. Ha ha. You got one. <laughs> we're proud of you. <laughs> anyway, I don't have anything else. I think we did a whole bunch. We did a lot. Actually, I had yeah, to just like, I had to start like coming up with them in the middle, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, we're gonna run out of these." Uh, yeah, I mean, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had nine written down, and we did more than that. It's <laughs> way more than we ever done. We're, yeah, we're just getting too good. We're getting you know? we're getting too good. We have to come up with more difficult things. <laughs> Back to hard sci-fi. <laughs> No, no, those are unfun. We have to do things that are, like, so out there. They make no sense. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely much more fun Yeah, for us and for people. Oh, definitely. Thanks for listening to uh, Pedantic Handwavium. If you haven't already, subscribe to us on iTunes and... or Yeah, we're on everything. So, like, iTunes, Spotify, uh, uh, Stitcher. RSS, Stitcher. Yeah, we're on Stitcher. Uh, we... We're on... Yeah. If you want to find us somewhere, it's not difficult, apparently. We're, we're even on YouTube. Yeah, we're on YouTube, yep. and we have our website at pedanticandwavium.com. Or at pedantichw.com, if you're lazy. Mm-hmm. Yep, and if you go there, you can send us show suggestions yep. that we will add to our list and address. We would like show suggestions, because we're... I, we don't we're not out of ideas but we're out of like yeah we would like to yeah yeah we want to talk about things you're interested in yeah versus things that we're interested in. yeah it's pretty clear that people like it when we talk about 
stuff that they know about and not mm-hmm. everyone knows all the stuff that we do we know uh, quite a few weird things and so we keep mm-hmm. on like coming up with ideas and then being like oh no one will care about this except for us <laughs> yeah i guess that's it that's all of our messages right uh oh thanks oh. to joe sapchuk for our theme music yep um and 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 thank you again for listening my name is simon kozik and um, Yep.